Hey guys, this is Nick with DLT Trading here to show you the new WorkSharp Ken Onion Edition Mark II. So an improvement on the original Ken Onion Edition, including the new upgraded blade grinder attachment. Um, in general, it's everything's just much bigger on this system than we're used to. But we've got a much bigger motor on this, putting a lot more power out. We've also got um, quite a few different upgrades on here that we'll go over in this video. So first thing I want to go over with you guys is there is a new speed adjustment on here using a light system. So you can adjust really, really high for blade profiling, main bevel grinding, things of that nature. You can bump it way down to just the sharpening speeds and way down to when you want to just strop or really want to work something out real slow. Next thing we've got here is a adjustable convex pulley position system. So by having these pulleys closer together, we're getting a lower convex angle, medium convex, and a large convex. They've also given us bigger roller tubes. Now, for most people, this probably isn't a huge upgrade, not really that big of a deal. Here at DLT, we do do a lot of in-store sharpening. I also do a lot of sharpening of my own personal knives. And on the original system, I noticed that after about five years, these tubes had worn down to where they were not holding the belts tight anymore, causing a lot of slop, a lot of slack. Um, reached out to WorkSharp. They were great. Sent me new tubes. I think I just had to pay shipping. Might have had to pay a little bit, but not too much. Um, regardless, these bigger tubes are going to last you significantly longer. Like I said, it took me about five years to wear those down. Not really sure how long it's going to take you to wear these down, but it's going to be a good long while. Next thing is in this area here, you have what you would call your slack belt. This is for handle shaping. Um, could also use it, I suppose, for something a little bit bigger that you maybe can't get in this section, but primarily it's for handle shaping. We've also got a 90 degree adjustable plate. So rather than having to come from this height all the way up here, have our flat blade, bring it down, sharpen it out. You're not having to constantly readjust all the way from here to here. Another thing they've given us here is a nice easy adjustable angle system. So all your angles are written out here. You use this knob here to adjust your angle. Much easier than the old system where we had to come to the opposite side, loosen it, and play around with it. Much more intuitive here. Another thing we've got is the belt guard. Belt guard is designed to keep debris and fingers, loose items, out of the belt while it's running. I will say this does make it a little bit harder to swap the belts quickly, but with practice, you will get better at it. I've had this system for a few weeks now to practice with. Initially, it was a bit of a problem child, but I've learned now that as long as you have this pulled back and you start your belt on this side and work it through the rest of the way, it's not such a big deal. I'm going to show you guys how to put on the belt with the belt guard that is now in place on the Mark II. First step. You're going to take your adjustable pulley, pull it back, and seat it so it's locked out of the way. Take your belt. And I found it's easier to start on the side with the adjustable pulley first. So over here, work it around the back. And then you're just going to gently get it in there. And then you just want to slide it over top of the tubes here. And final step, take your adjustable pulley. Pull it up and let that spring take over. Everything is nice and tight. There's not really any slack here. Now you're all set to go ahead and begin your sharpening process. Everything on this system has been improved. Everything is bigger. You've got much bigger components, things that are not going to wear out nearly as fast. They've really, really, really thought this system out. And I applaud them for that. I think this is going to be a great addition for you guys. And uh, if you're new to sharpening, don't let this intimidate you. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but you practice with some lower end, cheaper knives. It's the same principle for your higher end stuff. Just practice like anything. If you found this video informative, hit that like button. And if you'd like to purchase one of these systems, we will have a link below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss another upload from us here at DLT Trading.